Hey guys, Chris here with Omnimetrics. In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my personal favorite features of OmniView, and that's the ability to customize your dashboard. At Omnimetrics, we understand that your generators and what you care about monitoring on your generators may vary. So we've given you the ability to customize this dashboard and view exactly what you care about. So first things first, log into OmniView and it'll take you to your home dashboard screen here. Now you'll have all of your columns that showcase everything. Uh, notice I have unit ID, unit description, whether messaging is enabled, alarms, faults, and then I can scroll all the way to the right. Now let's say I'm looking for a specific uh, unit itself. I can actually search here, just type in parking, looking for my parking garage, and it'll default anywhere here. You can also, let's say, look up a serial uh, number in here. So JDA, notice it pulls up the serial number that I'm looking for. And let's just say, uh, I wanna see if there's any in demo. If I type in the word no, notice it's gonna find anything within the grid that has that. Now, if you wanna look specifically in the column, you can do the same thing here. So notice I'm typing in park, it's going to pull up the parking garage. Likewise, if I go to any type of serial number, uh, if I'm looking for a unit in fault uh, or a site ID. So just a cool way that you can actually filter through. Now you notice I have a lot of data in each one of my columns and that the unit ID is uh, sticking to the left. We've given you that ability just to where you can actually shift the columns over there and have them stick as you scroll. Why is that important? Well, if you're like me, and you don't have your unit ID memorized, let's just say you search everything by unit description. You can actually click and hold the name and drag it to the left here. I'm gonna reorder just out of personal preference, but you notice as I scroll, it has both of them sticking over. Uh, so that way I can see any unit ID or unit description that's uh, message enabled. Let's just say I wanna see the battery voltage, but again, I don't have to just identify it by that unit ID, I can do the unit description. Likewise, let's just say you want to just see everything that's uh, in alarm. Same thing, drag it over and it'll stick to the left. Now, there is another way to do it and it's pretty cool because you can not only have a column stick to the left, but you can also have one stick to the right simultaneously. So notice I just drug the alarm column there. Let's just say I want the unit description on the left, but as I scroll, I wanna make sure that I'm seeing everything that's in alarm, but I don't want it blended in here. So if you go to this hamburger menu, it'll give you this screen. It's gonna have the hamburgers, the filter, and the grid. If you click the hamburger menu, pin column, I'm gonna pin the unit description to the left, and I'm gonna come here and actually pin the alarm column to the right. Notice as I scroll, the alarm is pinned to the right and unit ID and unit description are pinned to the left. The other beauty of this is, is however you configure it and however uh, you, you want it uh, to your personal preferences, just click save grid config and it will save this view every time you log out and log in. So you don't have to do this every time. Again, it's saved every time you do it. Now I'm going to unpin this and show you a couple other cool features of this customization. I'm going to leave unit description just because again, like I said, I like to look up unit description versus unit ID, a little easier for me. But if you go back over this uh, hamburger menu, notice you have the filter. Again, same way you can type it in filters like I showed you at the beginning of this video. But if you select this grid, this gives you the check boxes of all the available columns. So everything checked in blue is everything I'm seeing but notice I still have RPM, I have signal strength, oil pressure, everything, fuel level. But let's just say all I care about is whether the unit is in alarm and what the fuel level is. So if I actually go and uncheck all of these, you notice the columns on the right are starting to disappear. So I'm going to trim it down as I said. All I care about is the unit ID and if it's in alarm, Oh, and I will remove the oil pressure as well. And that's all you have to say. Uh, if I want the unit uh, description, got to go back in and check it. Notice because I had already shifted it to the left, it's still sticking to the left as well. And to remove that again, just drag it back over and you can reorganize it however you want. Now, once you get it how you want it, as I mentioned, just click Save Grid Config and this screen will pop up. 
This is our paging mode options. So the auto size will save the columns and rows based on your screen size. So let's just say you only have um, four rows showing. It'll make it four uh, rows per page every time and you'll have to toggle over. Now, if you have 80 units and you want to do uh, more than whatever your screen size is or screen sizes, show pagination. And you can select between 10, 25, 50 and 100. So that way you don't have to go through pages. Or if you just hit no pagination, this is what I recommend on the mobile device. You don't have to click through pages. It'll just put everything on there and you can just actually scroll and find it. Again, just hit save config once you're done. It'll save everything. So when I log back in, this will be my exact view. Again, if I want to come back in and let's just say I want to see a couple more pieces of data, whether or not they're in messaging, I want to see the site ID, I want to see the fault, and let's just say engine hours. And I want the unit description back. Boom, just hit save again, no pagination, save config, and it's going to save it this way. Now, as I like to mention with all these videos, if you just come over here, customer support, you'll have a link to video tutorials on ones like this that'll show you uh, all the walkthroughs of OmniView. Uh, you'll have your customer support form, which will put you in contact with our tech support team should you have any issues. And you also have your OMV 2.0 feedback link. This will give you the option to give us feedback on what you uh, may be having issues with, maybe some features that you want to see that we don't have now, just so we can make this platform a little bit better and uh, more user friendly for you guys. We understand everything's always changing, always evolving, and we want to uh, put the most customer friendly and, and provide the best user experience to you guys that we can. With that being said, on behalf of Omnimetrics, thank you for your support and your partnership and have a great afternoon.